this time I call this High Springs City Commissioner to order, January the 14th at 635. Please stand for the invocation by Pastor Hall and following that the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you bow your heads with me? Our gracious Heavenly Father, as we've come into this building this night, the first meeting in January, the first meeting of a new year, a new beginning as we uh, swear in a new chief. Heavenly Father, we ask that the light of your glory be revealed upon us. We invoke the presence of your Holy Spirit, but in the doing of this, we ask for the light of your love, the light of your mercy, the light of your grace, the light of your wisdom and your knowledge and your discretion, uh, filling our hearts and filling our lives and filling our discourse that we, O oh Lord, might accomplish a good thing for our community as we take care of the business of our community. And may your blessing be upon our new chief and upon this body. And Lord, we'll give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pastor. Madam Clerk, roll call. Mayor Williams. Here. Vice Mayor James. Here. Commissioner Evans. Here. Commissioner Jameson. Commissioner Weller. Here. Thank you, ma'am. At this time, I entertain a motion for the approval of the agenda. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion or questions? Amen. All those in favor of saying aye. Aye. Motion carries. This time I intend to motion for the approval of the October the 15th, November the 19th, and the 24th, and December the 10th, 2015 meetings. And Mr. Mayor, I'll move the approval of the minutes, noting that the there was a correction made to the December 10th, 2015 uh, minutes. Second. Motion. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Questions? And all, all in favor, come saying aye. 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 Motion carries. At this time, I say welcome on tonight. I really, really, really feel safe on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> safe, safe. Now, we have a rule here in High Springs. If you come to the meeting, you got to stay to the end. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I imagine some of y'all going to slip out the door as soon as. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, we say welcome on tonight. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to call names on tonight, but there's no way possible I'm going to call names on tonight because I will miss someone. But we have representatives from Midway all the way down to Lake City. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so we say welcome to everyone on tonight. And at this time, we're getting ready to swear on a young man that I might get emotional, but a young man that I've been knowing for a long time, and we just want to welcome to the city of High Springs because we believe that he's going to do a wonderful job for the city of High Springs, and 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 really, I believe that by looking at the turnout here tonight, I say thank you, thank you, thank you again for coming. So at this time, we will ask Chief DeCorsa to come at this time, and also Judge Suzanne Wilson Bullock to come in for the swearing at this time. Mr. Mayor, Commissioner, City Manager, City Attorney, citizens, good evening. Good evening. All right, if you'd raise your right hand, Chief DeCorsi, and place the other hand on the Bible. I, Joel DeCorsi, Jr., Joel Jr., Jr. Do, solemnly swear do solemnly swear that I will support, honor, protect, and defend that I will support, honor, protect, and defend the Constitution and the Government of the United States and of the state of Florida, and that I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the state and under the Charter of the City of High Springs, and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of the Chief of Police on which I am now about to enter, so help me God. Jeez. 
speak, speak. <laughs> To God be the glory. It's a wonderful tribute, and I appreciate your vote of confidence, Mr. Booth, the commissioners, Mr. Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Commissioners, and, and all the city workers. This is a team. This is my family. I want to welcome you to my family. <laughs> and like you said, Mr. Mayor, if I start calling names, I'm going to forget somebody, and I'll hear about it later. <laughs> but I am looking forward to working with you and the citizens of this community. I'm here to serve you and be whatever help I can be to you and work with the men that are working, the officers of this department. You have a good community, a good department. I'm just the little old cog in the wheel, just to, <laughs> just to help out as much as I can. Again, this is my family. I thank the chairs, the chiefs, and, and my high, my Alaska family. Oh Lord, I tell you, it's a blessing. My mom and all, everybody, everybody. So I just thank you. I'm just overwhelmed, I'm humbled, I'm thankful. And I'm grateful. I appreciate your vote of confidence in me. And I will serve you well. God bless you. Again, we say welcome. I, I will have mom to stand up because the lady I've been knowing for a while. Come on, mom. Stand, mom. Stand, mom. <laughs> He in good hands. I, I take care of him. <laughs> again, we say thank y'all for coming on tonight. And again, uh, I was going to allow some others to speak, but if I was to open that up, we might have might be here all night long. <laughs> so please forgive me for not doing so because I don't want to uh, offend anyone. So again, we say thank y'all for coming on tonight. All right, so we're moving right on with other business at this time. At this time, we have. Okay, I'm I'm gonna allow y'all to go. Them. Excuse them. <laughs> Yeah. 
question. We want to have an officer with you? I guess. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Okay, we'll come back to order this time and continue with the with the meeting. At this time, we have citizen requests or comments for issues not on the agenda. Please give your name for the record. Mike Kearney, Mike Kearney, Mike Kearney. Uh, <laughs> Let me come, Mr. Five Minutes, please. Good evening. Uh, my name is Tara Malone. I am an employee of the Lashville Police Department. I've been there for about 18 years. And I did want to just say something, um, really to mirror some of your comments, um, Mayor Williams, but I think, if anything, the crowd that you did have here this evening is a testament to his commitment and what he can do. Joel came to us at a time when we needed some healing, and fortunately, uh, Chief Scott was there to succeed what he put into play. I really think that he has a natural talent for being, you know, bringing people together. And you had Alachua PD, Gainesville PD, Alachua County Sheriff's Office, and a couple of others that I didn't recognize their patch. But I just wanted to tell you that um, I guess six months wasn't long enough of a retirement for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do miss him. We're, we're very grateful to have Chief Scott, but I, I just I can't speak enough. There's a lot to be said for the hometown commitment, and, and you certainly have that in this gentleman. So I just wanted to offer those comments. Thank you. 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 Um, hello. I am, um, we are the park, members of the park and recreation board for High Springs. Um, I am here on behalf of uh, Chairman Ross Ambrose, and um, I am Linda Hewlett. This is Susie Clark, and this is our Recreational Director, Robert Basford. And we are here tonight to tell you about a wonderful event that's upcoming, uh, put on by uh, 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 Mr. Robert here. We are going to have a fundraiser to get more money for our parks, especially our playground, most particularly the playground equipment, and um, for the kids. There's several broken swings and other equipment that is in need of repair, and there is a big substantial grant that, that we have also going with us, but we are trying to start an annual uh, event, a 5K event that will raise money uh, each year, hopefully a little bit more, um, and uh, because it's coming up in the winter months, uh, we have named it Frozen Foot. <laughs> and um, we started. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very appropriate on cold very days, <laughs> early mornings. So, um, and Mr. Basford here has put this all together. But as we got here to the time, we realized uh, there was uh, a lot that goes into an actual real 5K that people are actually in front of you running. Uh, it involves closing highways and stuff like that, which he had talked to DOT. Uh, they're so lovely to work with. So, um, <laughs> we, <laughs> so uh, anyway, he has come up with a wonderful idea, uh, being the young, what is it? But being the young person he is and uh, very uh, computer savvy, he has come up with a virtual 5K. So you still have to run. Okay. So it means all of you can participate. Yes, and virtual. we can. Yes. Oh, virtual. virtual. Yes. <laughs> you can stand in front of your TV. You can run up and down a restaurant. You can do anything as long as you have, as long as you've clocked in uh, 5K. And so you register online. It costs money. If you would like a t-shirt, you have to be early registering. And if you would like a medal, you pay for that in advance also. And then you just submit your time. 
during this time period. Yes. And um, then you get the t-shirt in the middle, you pay for it. And um, Robert, oh, he's kind of a bit of the party animal. I was also wanted to have a big celebratory thing act, uh, after this the virtual race, which will not stop traffic or mess everybody up, but we'll have a virtual race with a real live party uh, at the Civic Center so he can show off his park and um, have um, inflatables and breakfast and maybe me. More activities that we're working on right now. And when is this? And when is this? I'm just seeing if he's the future. Figure. February 20th? Yeah, you can talk. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I know. I, I know. Hey, how you guys doing? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little more information. Um, so, yeah, February 20th is the celebration. You have from the, from the 10th to the 19th to run it as many times as you'd like. Um, the benefit of a virtual 5K, one, means we don't have to close any roads. And two, for example, people from my hometown can run in this race and post the time. Anybody can run the race in anywhere in the world and post the time. All right, see you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so real quickly, uh, basically we do have flyers. They're being printed as we speak. We have a Facebook event page um, so we can spread the word uh, via social media. That is where you'll be able to post your pictures of where you run it, you practicing, whoever participated. And then the 20th is where we'll hand out the t-shirts and the medals for those who can make it. For those who can't, we'll, re we'll arrange to get their, them their medals. Um, but there will be plenty of activities at the park for kids, adults, so. all ages. You can clock between your favorite chair and the refrigerator and back <laughs> and use that to count for your, your miles. So yeah, I we won't really be able to check to see if you run these actually 3.1, but any time under 18 minutes, we'll have to verify with the state. <laughs> <laughs> so I can count my time on the treadmill, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Totally. And that's the thing is we wanted to make it for anybody of all ages. Um, anybody that is interested can do it as well. So as long as it's 18 minutes, I can just give you my money and I can get a medal? Yeah. As long as it's over, if you're not going to check. If you're, if, you're happy, if you're happy with that, if you're happy with that, yes. Okay. Yes. Right. It's all about your personal benchmarks. <laughs> but yes. And if, if, if this is something, this is also like a, a feasibility event as well. If this is something that takes off, um, it obviously can grow. I mean, I, I foresee it growing because I don't see many 5Ks around um, in this area. I know Gainesville has a few. But if this could be something that could grow and we could actually potentially create a route, a feasible route, and actually it could grow into something pretty big. So, yeah. so, so there, is no, there is no actual physical route. It's just all virtual. All virtual. Okay. So, yeah, you can create your own route. And, and then, like we said, we encourage people to, like, uh, uh, residents to run it. There, maybe people run their own routes and they're like, hey, this is where I run. Um, this is where I run for pictures, you know, et cetera. Or, like you said, you can do it on the treadmill. Or... I mean, I don't even know if I'll run it, but <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you can, you, basically you can, you know, or you can walk it, uh, anything, but like I said, I mean, it's just, for, it's for the cause and an event, and then like I said, the celebration at the end, some people really do take pride in their fitness and their benchmarks, and, and that's a big, that's a big thing, um, so I would like, that's why I wanted to like to have the event to show off the park and bring everybody together, and like I said, it enhances quality of life as well, and getting everybody together is no, no never a problem with that. And if you have any questions, just shoot me an email or something. I'm pretty good with answers. Thank you, guys. Oh, there you go. And, and the Park and Rex also is very excited to announce that we have a beautiful new shuffleboard court. <laughs> and uh, we um, have a, sta uh, a chair a person already that has won one of the <laughs> intense competitions we've had. <laughs> and so we, we, we hope that that shuffleboard court will be uh, well used. And we thank Robert for all his efforts in in the soccer, in the volleyball, he is really working uh, tirelessly. So we're very grateful to him. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thing. 
I just want to make sure you all are aware of the fact that the Chamber of Commerce banquet is tomorrow, mm-hmm. beginning at 6 o'clock. Don't forget, I look forward to seeing some of you all there. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. I could definitely say you the tickets, you know. <laughs> as president, I can do anything. <laughs> also, I wasn't going to say anything, but, you know, sometimes it it is it goes, un- you know, they, uh, they go unlooked. They forget to look at people when they do special things. But yesterday I had an ordeal that I think I need to commend Antoine because he could tell that I was praying yesterday. And before I could come from Gloria's house, I mean, uh, Vice Mayor James' house back down the street, he was down there. I had an incident where I was leaving out, and by the time I got to the end of my street and all of this commotion was going on, and this young man, he he had a little problem, and and I picked up my cell phone, and I said, Antoine, I need you. I guess he could hear it in my voice, and before, and I went on down the, he he came to my car, and he started telling me about he was going to, you know, kill somebody and all this kind of stuff and all, and I just took off down and I you know he wasn't that he had his hand on my car but so happened I hit the lock on there to make sure I locked my car and I just took on down the glorious house and uh and I called uh Antoine and uh, of course he says I'll be right there and sure enough before I could get back down the road he came around me and he got there and he uh, apprehended the young man but uh I just want to thank you thank you thank you because I don't know. He could just tell it in my voice that I was I was really scared, and they all came there and took care of him and Bruce and all of them came there. And I just want to thank you all for taking care of me. <laughs> That's the best way I can just say taking care of me. And uh, like I say, sometimes you don't tell it out in the public how, how well they take care of you. And I just I just felt it needed to be noted that they they do these things, and and, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I can sort of add on to that a little bit because I happened to go down there and talk to the guys while they were working by stealth yesterday. But she's absolutely right. They did a very good job yesterday. Uh, I'm Betty Schumer. I just have a question and it might be on the letter. <laughs> I don't know. But when are we supposed to be putting up these numbers for these streets? Because I'm getting these two different kind of addresses at my church. And I happen to find mine today. And I just want to know when are we putting these letters up and is anybody going to help me put them up? You talking about the street address and thing? It's now. It's now, now time to put them up. And if we look like there's something wrong, I need to call who? Because I, I don't understand the two call. addresses at our church. Yeah. I think you the fire call, department. Call us. The okay. fire department chief. And the fire department chief oh. is really running it. But okay. if you call here, I'll get a hold of Bruce. And see if they okay. Can. Okay. So what do you mean you have two addresses for your church? I got uh, two, same parcel, but two different addresses. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure if it's... I don't know what it's doing. Maybe one might be on the dining room and one might be on the church, but I don't know one from the other. Oh, okay. Well, Bruce, they, it has the same really address, yeah. you know, the old address Bruce, of 605. He has that on both letters, mm-hmm. but both letters got two different addresses. Okay. Borders, 21535 South 441 House Springs, Florida. Well, I was given some bad information from some of the city council, so I missed the swearing in. But that's all right. He's still here. <laughs> He'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, I've got y'all certificates. Once again, want to thank y'all for um, for. Uh, sponsoring and support me in, in the high springs and the lots of way and Newberry Christmas parade. And uh, but uh, and I've got on the sheet there uh, one of those saying everywhere I go now started saying it all. I'm gonna say that and then I'll be free, okay? Our fire rescue, law enforcement and military are getting a bad rap. You hear what I said? 
our fire rescue, law enforcement, and the military are getting a bad rap. They're out there to keep us our freedom, keep us from getting hurt, mugged, murdered. If we're sick or hurt, they're there. And they're doing the best they can of their ability. True, it's their job. But they're out there. And uh, anyway, uh, they're even willing to put their life on the line for us willing to give their life for us and there's a lot of americans behind them. you know what i said there's a lot of americans behind them and we want to tell them two words thank y'all thank y'all well i'll give you a certificate and uh, i'll be through okay about uh, Chief McCorsey standing United American was started in uh, 1998. He's been a major sponsor for me since 1998 since he started. And uh, he's a great hero. The Florida Highway Patrolman female that got killed out there on 75. He paid my expenses down there for that. He also uh, in the uh, Awful accident that happened with the uh, Ocala Police Department. He paid for me down to go down there. And him already being retired, we just put up a, a, a big memorial sign for the, uh, for the uh, female highway patrol. He paid my trip down there for that. And uh, uh, a young, uh, old black man that was born and raised in Ocala served in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. Made it through three wars. Come back, did over 5,000 hours of community work at Monroe Memorial Hospital. Did a lot for his church, a lot for the veterans, his neighbors and all. And his own sorry scum son that was a drunk in drugging. Tried to get money from his daddy, wouldn't get it to him, so he beat him to death with a steel pipe. But, uh, Everybody up here for bringing him on board there. That's what high brings to me. Somebody that's a local man. Somebody that knows what's going on. And uh, if you can't get along with Chief Joel DeCorsi, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have enough? Yes, thank you. Did you get a red one? Yeah. Okay. Six thirty if you want. Hi, you're welcome. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Anyone else? I'd like to speak at this time. Anything that's not on the agenda. Amen. Rising. So we move on to new business. Considering award bids for the city's CDBG Water Main Replacement Project. City Manager. You, you bet. Uh, we had nine bids. Uh, the lowest was the Kent Brothers at seven hundred and ten thousand. I think they were a little concerned this week. But uh, was anybody here from the Kent Brothers? No. Nope. I, I don't know a Tim is either. But <coughs> I really don't need him. Uh, I think their concern was that they had bid so much lower than the one million five hundred thousand the high bid. Uh, and they were looking at the system, but they knew we were accepting bids, and so uh, had they not said anything and they did not, we can go ahead and accept the bids from them. Uh, this is considerably less than the money we have, and in discussing this with uh, Midtower, uh, we, we have some add-ons that we can add on to the project. Uh, our total award along with our money is somewhere in the neighborhood of 875,000. So um, even with the, the, the next two bids of 822,000 and 858,000, they're within the amount of money we have to bid. Uh, it's my recommendation that we accept the Kent uh, he has everything in, in line. Uh, his bid, uh, his bid bonds are there. Uh, we took a hard look at uh, his bid, along with probably everyone else, and he didn't meet the requirements. Mr. Mayor, Mr. I'll make a motion to accept the bids from Kent Brothers for this uh, CDBG water main uh, replacement project. In an amount of seven hundred and ten thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Anyone from the audience? Let, let's say the hesitancy on this. You see, we're going to go and we're going to negotiate a contract with them, correct? No, it's already been done. But the contracts have been negotiated first. I'm assuming a start time and end time that and is so forth. Correct. So. Would it would it be prudent to approve the other ones so you don't have to come back? If you can't arrive at a contract with this one, then you could automatically go to the next one without having to wait two weeks for the next meeting or so forth. Would that would that be? You would. I don't know if it's legal. Uh, we have our attorney. I don't have a problem with doing a backup, but if you uh, if you I would just hate to push it back. We've waited right. this long. We've got it. I'd like right. to see this thing get started. Obviously, the people have been waiting for it, and I just hate. So if you just did it, you know, award them in this order. You bet. I agree. You know, and then that way, I mean, you have the discretion right. to go we'll and. Say uh, at the last minute, decide we can't, we can then take Then you can just minutes. automatically go to the next one without having to come back two weeks or, or so forth. So what would what would we have to do? Just it looks like to, you can amend the motion. You could add Art Walker Construction as uh, in in next position at eight twenty two one oh four is the next closest bid, and the backup to that would be I believe Coleman Construction at eight fifty. No, wait a minute. We've got I'm commercial right. industrial. Commercial. That's right. Yeah. Commercial industrial is the next bid. Right, um, I guess I'll, I'll amend my motion to add. As backup, commercial, industrial, and art, and art Walker, and Art Walker first, and then commercial, industrial. Second. Okay, motion and second. Any other discussion? Questions? Anyone from the audience? Yes. Yes. Just um, if you do mind, too, that also you did check on behalf of the, the administration to come back out and and start the meeting. Mm -hmm. So you know, we're talking about it starting the meeting. We Say that again. The, um, you talking about the the, the, the lowest bo bid winner? The, low, the lowest is fine. The lowest we can okay. Mm -hmm. All right. But if we want anybody higher than that, we just need to be aware that this could be potentially over what is budgeted. So it's it's eight seventy five is what we have. 
Yeah, I said, how much did we get from the county? We get 50000 from the county and 700000 from the and state. And we budgeted one fifty, So we have closer to 900 Okay, then we should be okay. So you take 55 out of that. That's for Red Fox. That's already, that's already so, been so the top, so the top, So the top two, you're okay. The third one, you may have to do a little bit. That is correct. Okay. We'll get it done between oh, the first two. Me. We will. And we've got the engineering as well. Right. That is not been... So that could be potentially 40 or 60, I believe, thousand. As long as it goes, well, at least it goes over, then you're going to come back to us and let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Any roll call vote on this one? All in favor, you're going to say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. Motion carried. Mr. Mayor, next item on the agenda is ordinance number 2016-01, an ordinance of the City of High Springs amending the fiscal year budget for 2015 through 2016 for the High Springs CRA, providing for severability, providing for an effective date, and providing for codification. Appropriate motion is to pass ordinance 2016-01 as read by title only. Make a motion to pass ordinance 2016 01. Second. Okay, motion and second. Any other discussion? Questions or comments? Just comment, just for the for the public. Uh, this is the CRA, which we just discussed earlier, and this is the amendment of the, of the CRA um, budget. Else? All in favor, come and say aye. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Commissioner oh. Evans? Uh, yes. Commissioner Jamerson? Yes. Commissioner Weller? Yes. Vice Mayor James? Yes. Commissioner Williams? Yes. Okay. Moving on to item number three. We have October, November 2015 financial statement. Mayor, I've, I've taken a look at uh, our statements. I've gone over them with the directors. We're well within budget. Um, there's not much more to say. We will look at it every month very specifically to make sure that we don't have any items that, that touch the budget. And we're doing very well on that, including fire department. What about the, um, the dispatch? That's a separate budget. It is, but I, um, it'll come. I'm bringing. Well, we will be bringing December's financials to the next meeting. So, I apologize for totally thinking we didn't have any more, but they're included in the police department. But they they are a separate budget. Yeah. And that that's part of that. The only part of that is the CCC. Any other questions? Any from the audience? Uh, my floor, the second series of designation of the human resource director. Right, I, I put that on. And the reason that it's come to my attention that I'm making most decisions on the personnel basis, whether it's uh, discipline or e even today there were some issues that, that I pushed off because strongly feel that we need a personnel director. I mean, we have somebody, well, uh, Jenny has really been sort of assigned that, but I believe she needs to be given that title as personnel director so she can take care of personnel issues, and then when somebody wants to appeal that decision, then they come to me. Right now, with me making all the decisions, there isn't anywhere to go but to this board. And, and we don't want this board really to take care of the mundane personnel actions that occur, whether it's disciplinary because you don't show up for a day or, or something. So I, I'm really asking just to uh, 
give her the title of personnel director or resources director, however you want to refer to it. Um, if I may, um, Ms. Parma, are you okay with that? I kind of think everyone kind of felt, at least I was under the impression, that she did handle all the personnel issues, um, although I know that from understand what you're saying, and so I, I personally don't see a problem with that actually officially designating her as, the, as being responsible for the human resource duties. Make a motion to appoint our city clerk, Jimmy Parham, um, human do you want, does it, does it matter what it's called? I mean, personnel director, human no, resources really director. That's um, a personnel resource. director. Yes, right. I'll second it. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion or questions? Yes, sir. I think it's a great move. I just want to make sure simply by doing it, I would hope, I know we, within the year we have like grievance procedures and so forth. I know that. I think the one thing that I would like to see on this one here is that, and I, maybe we have it, you can enlighten me, but I looked, I couldn't find it. Um, if somebody comes and brings a complaint, at the point that they make the complaint, there's a process that has gone through to the end. I, I fill out a complaint form, they're notified, there's an investigation, there's a finding. I think it's important that we have a process so as if somebody comes up, if they ask us, then we can authoritatively tell them, here is our process for investigating a grievance. This is the person responsible. Um, it's a procedural type of thing. And so I would hope that, you know, with the attorney you would work through and, and just come up with a process so an employee would know what do we do. That, I think that's a very positive move for us. Terry Maltby and I live at 23452 Northwest 192nd Avenue, High School. I did that so I would remember it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, I really do have a serious question. Is there a corresponding compensation for this additional job duty title that goes along with the, there will the be obviously job. duties? She goodness, will. Goodness of her heart. Be, yeah. The goodness of her heart. Yeah. How, about the, how about the goodness of her paycheck? <laughs> Good question, Terry. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. City manager? Too bad that I talked enough on Tuesday, but the legislature passed the water bill yesterday, and they did so without putting on any of the money to buy land. Therefore, all the, the many millions, hundred millions of dollars are, are going to go for water projects. We are going to be right there in front because we are the gateway to the spring. We need to finish that sewer project. That is going to be my number one thing, is that we are 800 residents short of meeting the, the goal set in the bond of 2,200. That, that was the project that was envisioned 15 years ago, and we're going to push for it. We're going to push for it in those areas that really need it, Many, if not all, those septic systems on quarter acre lots are failing. I mean, they they wouldn't sustain maybe five years when some of them have been there you know, 30 or 40 years. And so uh, even though you may not see it when it rains and the water comes up, then a lot of that stuff goes down the road and into the river. And so uh, we definitely need it. And, and to give credit to those people 25 or not 25, 
but uh, a, a good 15 years ago. I think they they were uh, they may not have executed it great, but but I think their reasoning for it was very sound. And uh, and that's that in, in making sure that this water project is going to be my goal to to is to get as much of, of that money into this system. A while back, I remember them talking this on the state level. It was about septic tanks, trying to dollars and trying to make people go for some type of. That's right, and they're they're still playing with that. That legislation died, I, I think, because it had a cost to it. And, and what they really need to do is is put it on the backs of cities like us. Is when we want to do a, a sewer project like this, then we go and inspect all this. But uh, I think just to uh, inspect fairly new septic systems and, and make them pay $500 was unreasonable. It was not good legislation. And, and I think that we'll push our own people to, to put in good legislation where it doesn't cost too much. Uh, the septic systems that, or the sewer systems we're going to do in the future are going to be gravity. They're not going to cost the neighbor. They may cost them a little bit in uh, impact fees, but we will put in the sewer with a grant. And, and those kind of grants don't have a matching uh, amount from, from the city, uh, like the rural development agency. I want to find out where Cameron is. Uh, he, he was going to be here. Uh, he knew and he was contacted for the low bit. And so there must be something happened. That's it. That's it. All right, commissioners. I'd just like to thank Chief DeCorsi for coming on board. I think we got a lot of good guys at our department. Um, I just think we need a stable, level-headed chief for a little while to get everything shipped up, and I think we have that in you, and I just want to thank you for coming out of retirement. If nothing else, we can tell Alachua, hey, he wanted to get away from y'all and retire. But, <laughs> but, you know, that's just the way I look at it. But, but in all seriousness, thank you for coming on board, and I think it'll be good for our department and our city. And that's all I have. I'm very pleased to hear the manager's um, direction as far as the sewer and water. I think those are two extremely important projects that need to be hearing sincere oversight on. The only thing that I would ask as we go forward is is that the appropriate communication is given to the citizens so they're not they don't wake up in the morning and they're digging up their shoes or they're doing this that that we adequately inform them but I think these are two things that are needed and I, and I appreciate your attention towards those and making sure they get done. Um, I, I really have nothing other than to welcome the chief and thank you for coming and joining us. Okay well uh, from me as well thank you. Glad to have you on board and we know that you're going to like it here right here. Not explain what it is, but. And again, thank you to the officers that took care of that situation too yesterday. And Mr. Booth, that's good news about the sewer. Yes, ma'am. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. And you guys know I like to run around town. So did you know you're getting a new restaurant down in First Avenue down there? Yes. Yeah. Called Country Girl and Grub Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. The 6th Main Street? It's no, 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 First no. Avenue. The 6th Avenue right shops. Oh, what is it? Well, mm -hmm. Barbecue shop? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. right. It says restaurant on the sign <laughs> on the marquee. <laughs> but this yeah. painting on the window says grill. So I, I'm not sure. But anyway, they're working on it. So it should be open soon. That's all I have. What's the name of it again? It's called Country Girl Grub Restaurant. <laughs> Yes. 
some of these businesses' names these days. These are names like Name Out the Streets LLC. <laughs> I ain't gonna mess with that mic. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, uh, I guess y'all have seen it. I know it's, uh, it's time to uh, appoint a uh, uh, review board. Mm -hmm. Charlie, mm -hmm. I yeah. guess I've seen all that on you. Yeah. On your desk here, so you'll be advertising it soon. Okay. Right time, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, uh, see this here. I guess Jenny, I'll attend this meeting here. So, elected officials for uh, January 28th, mm -hmm. 1 30, Kirby Smith. We, we think it's education, January for education, mm -hmm. only because of who it's from. Mm -hmm. Didn't really say. Yeah, but I, I'll go see. See what they're talking about. Have somebody represent High Springs. But then you don't want to see that person. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other thing I have is this week we'll be having our cel uh, celebrating legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, sponsored by the High Springs Community Development Organization. We will start Friday night, January the 15th. Opening ceremony will be at Allen Chapel at 7 p.m. Sunday worship service will be at Mount Olive at 4 p.m. on Railroad Avenue. And the march will be that Monday, the 18th. We'll meet here at City Hall at 10.30 a.m. And the march will start at 11 a.m. at the Chaplain Air Shelter Park. And after that, we'll have a few activities and refreshments at the park. Uh, it's going to be question. warm, right? Uh, it's going to be warm. Yes, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I guess it's a question for the commissioners and uh, Mr. Sue. Uh, we're going to have anything this year to sit down and try to see what, what goals we want to do for us. I think we probably should have a workshop mm -hmm. to sit down and, and none of the water and sewer are, are part of it, but, you know, the, the, the commissioners all have different priorities and different ideas for goals, and I think we need to put them down. And, and, and we need to, we're, I think we're going to have a meeting in July over that, and, and we'll have a workshop and bring the public in because they certainly have a lot of interest. And uh, we are now just getting in a position where we have limited resources that could have been spent because we haven't for many years. Is anything you come up with a couple of dates for us? Yes, there's a lot of people who work for yeah. the and I think it's mm -hmm. hard to get them in the, mm -hmm. in the day. Mm -hmm. You get them at night. Yeah. You'd be minus a commissioner if y'all did it during the day, I can tell you that. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so three. <laughs> More than one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if people die and get buried on Saturday, too. Right? <laughs> 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 I don't know if the mayor would know that or not. Monday, but Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll put about a couple of days together on our agenda. I guess we'll get that straight now. Uh, also, I want to say thank you, Chief, for coming out of retirement and uh, coming to serve here in High Springs. I always like to to boast about my city, High Springs. So I even even been boasting even the more now about our new chief coming on board. I really think it's going to be a great fit for I mean fit for for the city of High Springs. So I guess I say thank you, thank you, thank you. You know we're here for you. you know, I think you might have my phone number in your in your phone. So I just came to say thank you for coming out today. And glory, I'm not glorious. Uh, Yvonne, yeah. I didn't think you would let anyone frighten you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get that one in, but if I had to. <laughs> I had to get that one in. I'm sorry, Yvonne. <laughs> You need to walk Byron out. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
If there's nothing else, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made. Second. <laughs>